This build looks like a toilet. Eh, eh, eh. Well, your house looks like. Eh. Eh. It looks like. Eh. Hmm. 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 Aha. Uh -huh. Your house looks like you put a poster on a wall hiding a huge hole. How about that? <laughs> That'll get him. Well, that was an interesting start to Ramblecraft episode 17. But anyways, welcome back to Ramblecraft. Today is a very special episode. It's both a it's it's both a happy one, but it's also kind of a sad one. This will be my final episode of Ramblecraft season 1. Yes, you heard correctly. Ramblecraft season 1 is coming to an end. And I have a lot of stuff to do, so we have no time to waste. But before we do that, I do want to say that even though it is sad that season 1 is ending, we at Ramblecraft are very very excited for season 2 because it is right around the corner and we hope you're excited too because a lot of stuff is going to be different. We have new people to introduce. It's going to be a lot different from season 1. Let me tell you that right now. I'm not going to spoil anything. You'll see it when it comes out, but uh, yeah, it's going to be very different to season 1. Now this part is for me personally. I don't I'm not speaking for any other ramblers, but I think maybe my season 1 has been a bit boring the way I've done it. So in season 2 I'm going to change things up by a lot. I want to do more collabs, I want to do different style of building, even maybe different style of playing. Yeah, things are going to be different, things are going to be new, and we're all very, very excited for it. I also have some other announcements that us from Rebelcraft are very excited to announce, so stay tuned for that at the end of this episode. But first, we have no time to waste, because I have a list of things in this very book that I want to get done for this episode. Right, so this are, these are the things that I want to get completed in this episode. I want to connect the farms using pipes, which has been the plan all along. I want to finish that. I want to finish the basement. And yes, I, 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 I yeah, I need three beacons. I have one. You see it above my head right now. And I want three more to complete the silo. Um, so yeah, we need to do that. Uh, I also want to, basically, my plan was to make a build here by the cave, like remove the cave and then place a build instead, but I have actually decided against that, and I'm just going to shine it up. I'm going to make it a lot more cozy, a lot more nature stuff, and just make the cave be a much cooler cave, basically, and I'm gonna call that home, because I think that is cool, and I'm going to do it. And then, of course, I want to finish the end gateway, which we have... Wait, wait, is it? That is... <laughs> We started that in the last episode, and I want to finish that project today. So, I think we should start with the basement. There's going to be a lot of time lapses in this, by the way. <laughs> but why don't we start with the basement of the silo? So without any further ado, let's hop into a time lapse. And there we have it. The basement is now at a stage where I'm going to call it complete. We have the walls here with the glowberries growing down. That, that was weird to say. Um, and because I have Optifine, they actually do glow. So they actually add, function as light sources as well, which is really cool. Um, and in here as well, I did the same in here. You may have seen that some of the redstone broke, but I, I, I fixed it. Okay. I think I, I I think I managed to fix it. Okay. <laughs> What's that water? Ah yes. Maybe I needed to cover up that. So that is basically the base bed complete. There we go. Gonna add a plus because I don't remember how to get my check mark and I can't be bothered to fiddle with it. I think the next thing to do is actually to get those three beacons because I have one of them and it takes two and I want to get the three other ones. And I've actually kinda already done some of the work. 
How did I take damage hitting it? Okay. How, wait, how did I take damage? I, you could just... I don't know. I've already done some of the work and I already have six Wither Skeleton Skulls, but I need to grind a little bit more to get the next three. So let's go ahead and do that. End of our conveniently have made a farm for this, which I've used to get those six. And it's actually quite effective, so um, yeah, it should be right down here actually. So this is my portal, and this over here, this path, if we follow it, down here. Why? Who put a boat here? Who? 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 Parking tickets? Pa I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna start. Uh, you know what? In season two, boat parking tickets. When I see random boats everywhere, they gotta get a ticket. Yep, that, that's a new system. But anyways, this is a farm that Endavar has made. And basically what you do is you walk around here. The Wither Skeletons spawn to the right and left. And they basically follow you. And you just keep going from one end to another. You can just keep walking. We have four of them right here. There's even more in front of us. It looks like we're gonna get eight Wither Skeletons from this, actually. From this one path. That is actually pretty good. As you can see, a lot of other mobs are spawning as well. Which I guess is cool if you need Blaze Rod or something. Oh, I wanna wait for this guy. Come on. Come on. Then what they do is they walk up here. These, these places are in the way. And you just walk all the way up to this iron bar here. And, well, slice away. And... There we go. Unfortunately, no Wither Skeleton Skulls for me this time, but that is basically the process. Sometimes places do see you, but um, yeah, not too big of a deal. If you want to see how Edovar made this, go and check out his channel. Link down below in the description. But yeah, now I just gotta do this until I get three more Skulls. I'll be right back. All right, I have now three more with a skeleton skulls, which means I have nine in total. Boat fee. Um, <laughs> so now we can actually go ahead and kill these withers. All right, first things first, I am going to load up all the soul sand and all the with a skeleton skulls into this shulker box right here. I don't think I'm gonna be needing potions the way I'm going to do it, hopefully. What I will need is more fireworks and also more food. Now there are two ways I can do this. The chaotic way or the easy way. Now, Chase, Chemistic and British Weirdo actually was on yesterday, well yesterday for me, and they killed a bunch of Withers. They actually took on multiple Withers at the same time. So if you want to see that, definitely go ahead and check it out from Chase's British Weirdos and Chemistics Perspectives as well. Pretty sure all of them are gonna upload that. And I kinda wanna see the area they used. This tunnel is very long. Whee! Um... Uh... Uh... uh. So this is the place they fought them. Um, huh. yeah, how about no? Aha! As long as I keep the momentum, I should be good. Haha! I think you need to leave a like on the video now after that. I think I have a better way of dealing with the withers. My own way. A better way. The way. The Minecraft way. Now this could go both good and bad. Um, so I'm just gonna make sure that I'm prepared in case it goes bad. I don't think it will, but just in case. Are you sure that this is not going to work? Oh, it did. It actually did. Now I wonder. That's bad. That's bad. That is bad. That is extremely bad. That is not okay. Um, did they patch that or something? Oh no. <laughs> if that comes towards 
the Enderman farm. I am so screwed. Oi, wither. Get over here. Now oh, I better not die from this. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> this did not go according to plan at all. Okay, I'm doing pretty good though. Doing pretty good. I just need to not run out of arrows. Oh man, this is bad. I just need it to get down to sword level. Then I'm good. Okay. 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 One half health. One half health. Oh no. One half health. Uh oh. This is not good. This is not good. This is not good at all. I think I got it though. <laughs> okay. Right. Right. That most definitely didn't work. Alright, I have a total of undying, four golden apples, and I have my armor. Hopefully this is going to do the trick. Oh yeah, I also have a full stack of arrows now. I think we're gonna be alright. I think we're gonna be alright. Plus I think I'm actually plus I think this is actually going to work now because unless they have completely patched it, I think I'm making a mistake right now, actually. I should probably look it up how to do this properly, shouldn't I? I'm glad I did, because turns out you need to do something else, I think. This is at least the first video that I saw. Apparently, this is what I need to do. Leave this block open. And, uh... This should work. <laughs> um... Hopefully. Maybe. I think this is going to work, actually. Yep. I mean, it's stuck. And it's continuously stuck. Oh, perfect. This is extremely loud, though. See this? This is easy. This doesn't leave any death holes or anything like that. It's pretty easy and just keep swinging and boom. Nice. All right, that is the third nether star right there. And this is then going to be the final one. Boom, boom, boom. Gonna pick up. My ender chest, and just like that. Boom, dead. Easy. Wait, these are all different heads. Invulnerable Wither's head, Wither's head, and Armored Invulnerable Wither's head. Hey, that's cool. All right, sweet. 15 glass, combine that with three nether stars, and we now have three more beacons. Which is excellent. Now what I need is a load of blocks. And I do not have that amount of iron. I have enough here for one beacon, which is excellent. That right there is enough for one beacon. But I kind of need more than this. So I think I will have to visit Endeavor's iron shop to get the rest of the iron that I need. All right, here we are. Four diamonds for one stack. Whoa, someone has been buying. <laughs> <laughs> right, four diamonds for one stack, so that is 20. Wait, so 24 diamonds. 9, 18, 24, I think. Nope. There we go. 24 diamonds. 1, 2, 3, hep, hep, hep. Just like that. Yep, this should definitely be enough iron. With a little bit extra to spare. That's perfect. Also, I'm pretty sure... Yep. Our netherite has sold. I think that was British Widow. Oh. I think that was British Widow who bought that, actually. But it might have been others as well. That's sweet. 38 diamonds. You know what? Even though this shop was built very late into the season, right before we ended, it, it we have still profited. Yay. All right, now... On to the task of placing down the beacons, which will require even more mining. All right, so up here I have this piece of glass coloring the beacon. But what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to put normal glass here in all of these corners, basically. And then the light blue glass I'm going to put down here. Boom. I wonder, does this cover up the beacon? 
it doesn't. But I think I like the glass visible more. So I think we're gonna keep it that way. Um, so I actually need a little bit more light blue glass. And what I also need to do, I need to replace these gray ones right here with normal glass as well. Now then, what I then need to do is I need to fix that. I will do that eventually, but I need to actually be digging down so I can get down to the point of bedrock. Yes, I want to place this beacon all the way down at bedrock. Ow. Does this mean I will be digging straight down? Yes, it does. See you at the bottom. And bedrock. Perfect. So we need to make a 9x9 nine nine area. 1, 2, 3, 4. That is our 9x9 nine nine area. This is a slight issue. I found diamonds. <laughs> I actually just found diamonds. Would you look at that? All right, now we can actually start placing the iron. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. Beacon. And, well, I kind of need some sort of thing to activate it. Maybe this diamond? If this diamond gives us three. <laughs> it actually gave us three. <laughs> that diamond ore. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, what do we got to pick for this one, actually? I think resistance. Resistance 2. Then strength. And then maybe speed or something. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. I don't really want jump boost. Pretty happy with how I jump. So I think resistance 2 for this one. And... Resistance 2. Sweet. Now I just got to get out of here. Blue stained glass. Normal glass. Perfect. And yes, don't worry, I will fix that. I'll fix it eventually. I'm actually going to go ahead and do the other two beacons because that took actually a little bit longer than expected. So um, I'll be right back when both beacons are done. All right, all four beacons have been activated. I now have speed two, strength two, resistance two, and haste two. Really, really cool. I could honestly add a fifth in the middle, but one thing that I didn't think about was the frame rate. Yeah, four beacons at what area? Yeah, this place is already not super frame rate friendly. So um, I think we're gonna keep it at four, but it does look very very cool <laughs> look at that that is pretty cool not gonna lie so with that we can actually scratch off the three beacons right there and add a plus the next thing I think we should work on is probably finishing this because it's a small thing and I'm kind of I think I'm just kind of putting it off so I'm gonna go ahead and do it let's do it All right, I think this kind of does it. I don't know if I'm fully happy with the design yet, but it, it's something. It matches the current base. I couldn't think of where on earth to put like a color in, like an accent color, like green or blue or something. Um, so it is what it is. I think I like it, especially when these actually grow up and become tall. And yeah, I think it's actually, it's actually going to look kind of nice. And we can just drop down there and then we're in the end dimension. So... And gateway has been completed. We only have two more objectives. Connecting our farms with the silo and making this look nice. Here's what I'm going to do. First, sleep. Secondly, I'm going to revamp this whole cave. I'm not going to do too much inside. I'm going to shine things up, but mainly on the outside. I want to make this look more cavey. I want this area rounded basically to look a whole lot nicer. Um, oh yeah, that guy spawned. Uh, remove these trees and get new ones and yeah, basically shine this place up. So I'm going to do that. I have no idea how long is that going to take, but that is of course going to be another time lapse. So let's get right into it, shall we?
Okay. Um, I did a little bit more than just doing my home cave. I wasn't really planning it, but then when I was in the middle of it, I decided to go forward with it. I bumped up my view distance to 12 chunks. My FPS is going to be hideous because my base is not frame rate friendly, but um, yeah, here it is. Yep. My island is pretty much overgrown now. <laughs> I will, at the end of this episode, leave um, cinematic shots with shaders in as well. Um, yeah. Paths and azalea trees and moss. Yeah. It's all there. <laughs> it's all pretty much there. So, um, I think that is a huge check mark or plus. Um, this one right here. I'm gonna add a plus plus because I did way more than just that. <laughs> I guess I should give you a tour of my cave now since that is pretty much the whole reason why I did all this. So we have a path leading up here. We have some overgrown up towards the AFK fish farm here. I'll show you the back door in a moment. We come up here and what I've actually done, the first change is I've actually made the door flush with the wall and that's pretty much it. I haven't done much else around the door other than making this look a lot nicer. But when we go in here, this is so much cozier and fancy and I absolutely love this. <laughs> I'm very happy with this result and if we go out the back door here, you can see that we have this very overgrown small entrance over here as the back door and it just leads to, well, even more beautifulness. Um, except for that, that's not beautiful, that needs to go. But yeah, other than that, I've just pretty much put down moss around the forest areas, placed down some azalea trees here and there in some of the blank spots and, well, used bone meal to make the paths look very nice. And yeah, I am very happy with how this island is actually looking now. It is actually looking alive, overgrown, detailed. And it is at a point where I'm happy to say, job's done. Now I had put on the list to actually finish the pipes, so basically to connect the farms to the storage area. But unfortunately, I am out of time. I'm completely out of time. Not because the episode would become too long, I'm literally out of time. And there were some things about the design that I hadn't realized, so I needed even more materials and I messed up and yeah. I just, I, I, I just can't get it done, unfortunately. And that's just how it is sometimes. But I am very happy with the point we are at on this island. The farms are still very functional. We still have access to all the outputs, everything, and the farms are working splendidly. And yeah, as I said, we have access to everything. And yeah, it all works. It just doesn't go into the sorting system, but you know what? That's fine with me. It does not hurt when the island looks like this to have to travel to each individual place because there's just so much of this mass and beautifulness to take in. So yeah, with that, I'm going to wrap up my Rebelcraft season one. But before you go, there are two announcements. Us from Rebelcraft are very excited to announce while I'm sitting in this Azalea tree. The first thing that I want to announce is that we have opened a community discord for Ramble fans. So if you're a fan of Ramblecraft, you should go ahead and check it out. It's a community server. All us Ramblecraft creators are in there. Uh, you will be able to talk to us. Uh, you can post your bills and share. You can share your bills and stuff like that. And yeah, it's really cool. And it won't just be you that are watching from my perspective that joins. It will be others from all the other channels as well, hopefully, who joins. And yeah, it's basically a place for all Ramblecraft fans to meet up. And have a good time. So if you're interested in that, there will be a link to join down below in the description and I highly suggest if you use Discord to go and check it out. And the other thing is that we now have a website, ramblesmp.com. You will have access to stuff like world downloads, which this world will be up for download very soon. Uh, there's a list of all the channels of all the members that are on the server as well as a bunch of other stuff So I highly suggest that you check it out again link down below in the description. But anyways with those announcements done I think it is time to switch over to some cinematic shots off the base and then call it an episode. Hope you have enjoyed season one and I hope to see you in season two. Have a wonderful day and with that, goodbye.
I see your house. Ah, there he is. You took your time. Yeah, sorry. Um. Yeah, wings. You no, know. I know I have nothing. Oh yeah, you 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 have nothing. Also, nice skin. But um, wither. Oh wither. yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. That would um. Yeah. Well, we thought it was yeah. a good idea to spawn one each, but they didn't realize that I'm a little bit useless. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I kind of lost everything, yeah, but like I that's... do have 32 raw potatoes, so if you yes. it's just a gift, because you you're know, a guest at my house. I'm, thank you, I'm actually um, out of food, so you know what, this is perfect. Yep. Yep. Uh, they do half a hunger bar, but do you know what, if yeah. you eat 20, that's full, that's full hunger, so that's cool. Yep. Yep. Um, I only yep. gave you 16, so you're nearly there, but that's cool. Yep, yep. Um, that's yeah, that's but I, perfect. Um, yep. What, what mm -hmm. do you think of the house? I yes. don't think you've ever actually been to my island. I don't I don't think you have. I'll give you a tour if you want to, if you want to come upstairs first. Yes, yes. Um, I must so say, this I is love it. The the bedroom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, just ignore that. It has some stuff, but nothing really. Okay. Oh, potatoes! Oh, hey, you said you needed food. Yeah, there that's... you go. Thank you, thank you. Ooh, these are the big yeah. ones, the golden ones. Um, this is my potato farm. I've got some left. Um, mm. Well, you know what? As a good guess, I will put... There we go. I helped you grow some potatoes. Yep, yes. uh, that, that's pre pre pretty much it for the yep. upstairs. It's a bit bare. Yep. Um, it works? It works? Yeah. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah. And then we've got the downstairs. Mm-hmm. If you want to go first. Yeah, sure. Then, that... um... Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's pretty nice. Yeah. It looks pretty good. Yep. Uh, oh. Well done.